I'm excited. First meal in Italy is now Italy. 3 p.m. What? That's a video. Hi. Bon appetit. All the stores are closed now. Yeah, we're late. We're at a little market right now. My mom found these really cute pastas. <laughs> she thought these were chocolate. How much is For dollars? For their pasta. Pasta, I'm looking for chocolate. So our hotel is really close to the Vatican City. <laughs> so mahal mahal. <laughs> Pietro Grande. We got a two twin beds, but they're actually quite small. So we just pushed the beds together to make it one big queen bed. We have a good sized closet here. I think it's the closet, it's from IKEA. It's a sliding door, so. Here you have your TV and little breakfast station with food storage. And my favorite part is the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what can I say about the bathroom? Please don't mind our things that we, we've totally marked our territory for like the next couple of days, but um, first impressions of the bathroom, it's very clean. We have a bidet. We have a really clean toilet. I don't know what this rack is for because I see it in a lot of European hotels I've been to, but if anyone t can tell me what it's for. But the most interesting part of this bathroom is a really nice shower. And the shower has a rainfall shower head with, with shooting, it shoots water at the most important places, I guess. And one last thing about the bathroom, I'll, is really interesting for any of you couples out there, is some, um, Romantic mood lighting, Ooh, so it changes from green to yellow to blue to red, and it looks pretty cool at night. We also have a little seating area that someone has made very good use of. And yeah, that's everything at the San Pietro Grande suite. I love it so far. It's, I think it's better to go with small boutique hotels that are family owned rather than like large chain hotels because you're spending crazy amount of money for a brand name hotel from, from that's an American brand, but these are locally owned by families that live in the area.